Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in my previous video, I have basically created new uh, order and save that in the database. And now in this video, I want to get single order and also the logged in user orders. So let's create these two routes first of all. So here I simply type my first route that is get single order then go to the slash API slash slash v1 slash order and then the ID of that order okay so type here exports dot get single oops single order equals to catch async errors that I pass in the async function that has a request response and the max so first of all let's pull the find the order so const order equals to await order order dot find by find by id and I simply pass here request dot params dot id and also I'm going to use here dot populate method so dot populate so dot populate in that I simply pass oops that is populate I have to remove this one and the populate I have to populate the user and the fields I want to populate is the name and the email of that user okay I will show you later that what does this mean but right now after that I simply check that if not order then simply return next with new error handler and pass in here no order found with this ID okay and let's put in here the status code of 44 but if that exists then I simply type here res dot status of 200 dot json and let us simply pass in here the success to true and then the order okay and now let's also handle our second function on total function let's simply copy this one so that is get log in user orders okay so that is slash orders slash me okay so that is my orders so let me pass in here order request await find by id not find by a I simply pass in here on the find because I have to pass here an object but I want to find the uh, orders in which user is equal to request dot user dot id so the current user and then we have to simply return these orders okay so simply save it go to the order and let's create here uh, new route that is definitely get so slash order slash the id of that order and then the user must be authenticated then slash orders slash me right and let's bring in the methods first of all the single order put it here and then my orders so let's put that right here and probably save it go back to postman to check it out so I simply like close this one or then go here okay so I need the ID of that order so I simply put here a new order send then I go to new tab click on get and domain slash api slash slash v1 
that order slash the id of that order which is uh, this one so copy it from here place it here and click on send and we'll get that order right here okay so let's save this route get single order get single order by its id okay so let's save the order and now let's create here the second one that is domain slash api slash v1 slash orders slash me okay so if i click on send from here i get here two orders okay so order is not defined that is orders save it now if i click on send you will see here uh, two orders so one is this one and this is the second one okay so let's save this out also get logged in user orders with all logged in user orders and save the order good now simply close it and now we are done with our two more routes and in my next video i want to get all the orders uh, in the database okay so i will see you in the next video